Hello everyone, it's Beef here. I thought I'd make this quick little discussion video to talk about the recent changes to 0.61 Experimental. If you've been playing Experimental in the last couple of patches, you'll have noticed that the rate which you lose energy has been massively increased. Now I think this is the devs testing the limits of where we go from now and in the future of Daisy. We now have systems in place to actually start thinking about this game as a survival game instead of a spawn, get guns, PvP and die and repeat with a little bit of, oh I need to think about having some food. For years now we've been playing this game and I've been playing with other people who don't even bother getting themselves energised hydrated even though this is a tactical advantage during PvP. Now as you know there's many ways in this game to get food. The simplest way is to find food. This is the method which we've been using for the last couple of years. It's very simple, it's very boring. You run around, you look houses, you find food, you eat it and you continue. Now there's a couple of other methods. Picking apples, picking berries. I'd say this is like the second way to find food. Most of us know about the apple glitch and how to loot lots of apples very, very quickly. I actually wish the devs would turn off apple trees and berry bushes so we can actually test the limits of survival. Now, the other methods of looting food have been in the game for quite some time. At various stages of development they have worked well or they have been bugged, but they are working just now. And these are farming for food, trapping rabbits with a wire snare, fishing for fish obviously, and hunting. So the last one is probably the most interesting with recent changes. In 0.61 we now have large animal herds and we know from the devs that they have boosted the amount of energy you get from animal steaks. In previous patches we had lots and lots of chickens but these seem to have been reduced and replaced with various cow and deer spawns. Now the deer are a bit of a nightmare, it's difficult to get close to them and they run away hell of a fast but if you can find a cow herd you are in for a hell of a lot of food out of those guys. I was playing today and managed to stumble across a herd and the amount of food I got off there was stupidly huge. I managed to kill two cows straight away and then I chased the herd down and managed to kill another three. So I just wanted to talk about a little bit of playstyle I had today. Previously in Daisy, as I said, you would spawn on the coast, loot a little bit, run north to the northwest airfield, have one can of food and you'd be good to go. That bit, PvP till you die. Now, if you run a couple of kilometres, you're going to be in trouble. Probably the best way to think about this game going forward, if this is the way they keep the energy levels, is that when you spawn, your main priority is to find obviously some clothes and basic supplies but also to find some seeds, a hoe, a spade, some lime, do you know like general farming supplies. Also something to water your plants with, that's very important unless it's raining you're going to have to find a water bottle, a canister or a pot. Now if you manage to find these bits of equipment, excellent. Now you can set up a little farm, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete and you can loot a medium sized town. The farm will make you enough uh, basic food to kind of keep you going for a reasonable distance. If you don't find all the farming equipment, hopefully you'll find enough um, rags to make yourself a fishing rod. If you find a chicken, you can eat those chicken breasts and make a hook dig up some worms and go fishing and try and get some higher value uh, fishing stakes. If you find an empty water bottle you can turn that into a fishing trap and leave that at a pond or in the sea while you loot somewhere. Netting isn't only used to make a ghillie suit, you can also make a fishing trap using the netting as well. I guess the basic point I'm trying to get over is this game is changing. You will no longer be spawning, running to the northwest airfield and PvPing till you die. Now you still can do that, but you're going to have to take it a little bit slower. You're going to have to survive the PvE element. Not only are we going to have better zombies, we're going to have wolves, we're going to have bears, and God knows what else with diseases and temperature issues. This is becoming a survival game, not a PvP game. I fully expect the PvP still to be there, and you'll get some PvP by chance as you're trying to survive. But it's not going to be a, a full-on armour CSGO type game going forward. The quicker you start thinking about how you're going to survive, the easier the transition will be. 
If you continually have the mindset that you're just going to spawn, meet up with your friends, run to the northwest and PvP, you're going to have a difficult time transitioning. If you survive using the apple glitch, again, once that's fixed, you're going to have a hell of a hard time. Now, I had a discussion online uh, with a good friend of mine, and he was complaining that the energy rates are too high. Now, this may well be the case. The devs might be pushing us to the limit in experimental just now, and we'll dial it back. Who knows? He was also saying that it's more difficult for a group to survive. Now, in one way, I agree with him. If your only method of finding food is by looting, it's going to be quite tough for a large group to survive out there. There's a limited amount of cans and food available, and probably not enough to go around a large group. So perhaps it's time to start thinking outside the box here. Maybe make one of your group a fisherman. Anything that drops or you kill that manages to make fishing equipment, get him on that. When you get to areas, maybe one of your group can go looting the town while the other guys start a farm. So one of your guys could head off to the local pond, start fishing. Another guy could go looting the town, he could be on chicken duty, he can kill some chickens and bring them back. Third guy could be on farming duty, he gets the farm up and running. And then by the time the guy's looted the town, everyone's got back together, you share out the foods, get it all cooked up, and head off again. Now using this method, you can generate a, quite a substantial amount of food. Now, his argument was that we don't want this game to become farming simulator and I agree with them. We don't want this game to become simply about finding food and that's all you do. Make food, travel a little bit, starve, make food, travel a little bit, starve, etc. But I don't think that's the way it'll be. Once people learn how to be self-sufficient without having to loot food, that's the point where you start to think, now do I want to keep this bone uh, fishing hook or do I want to keep this Mosin rounds? That's a dilemma I had this morning. I had extra rounds and extra magazines for guns which I didn't have, but I actually threw them away. I already had an AK-74U with a magazine and some extra ammo. So why did I need the magazines for the MP5 and the rounds for the Mosin which I didn't have? I had a Winchester with a scope and 20 rounds, so I had a Winchester and an AK-74U. What else did I need? I had two pistols with, with ammo for each of them, both were silenced. Why did I need two pistols? I had enough, I had one pistol was enough to deal with any infected in a town. So instead of gathering together all this excess military equipment which I didn't need, I started finding space for packets of seeds, garden lime, plant material once I'd made my first farm so I could start the next one quite easily. So in summary, it's going to take a little bit of adjustment from the player base to get used to this new world. It's going to be tough, it's going to be punishing. You may well die because of starvation. But if you think ahead and you plan, there's no reason why you should. If you're in a large group, you cannot rely on looting towns for food anymore. I mean, check out the amount of peppers I'm looting here just from 10-15 minutes. A huge amount of food. You guys are going to have to deal with that in a group mentality and think and plan ahead. I mean, Jesus, if you find a, a herd of 10 to 15 cows, each with them generating six cow steaks, that's 60, 70, 80 cow steaks just from that one herd. If you mix that up with um, farming, you'll have shit loads of food that you can store in your backpack for running around and PvPing. Think, plan, and you'll be fine. It'd be interesting to hear your comments below, so please um, get involved in the discussion. Do you think it's too severe? Is this a game you're going to be interested in if it goes completely down the survival stroke PvP route? Alright, take care guys. Thanks for listening to this rambling. Peace out.